what's up guys welcome to your bitcoin update we're going to be taking a look at a lot of things today dow jones gold dxy litecoin xrp ethereum and there are a lot of things lining up i'm going to show you where to watch for to remain bullish if you're bullish and i'm going to show you what to watch for if you're bearish definitely stick around for the whole video because there is a lot to talk about and let's get into it oh don't forget we have a free discord group in the description below the video check it out all right guys as always this is not financial advice trading advice nor is it investment advice don't forget we do a free ledger nano s hard wallet giveaway every sunday all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you subscribe to the channel tick the notification bell to get you notified when i post videos smash the likes and leave your comments all right looking at the fear and greed index we are at 94 in the extreme greed zone so this is what we've been talking about for quite some time looking for the dow jones to top out now, if we do end up breaking this trend line in the Dow Jones and retesting it, getting support, then that is bullish for Bitcoin and everything, in my opinion. I know a lot of people think a lot of different. We're going to talk about a few different views. But if we do get rejected up here, like I think we will, if we even make it up to that range, if you look at the daily right now, if the Dow was to close down in this range, that would be a bearish engulfing candle. So just be aware that we are making huge bearish divergence here, guys. So be careful. And let's look at gold. Gold did break out. We had the resistance at 1910. And I said if we broke out, gold would be possibly the measured move for gold's breakout here. Could be as high as uh 2115 so <clears throat> looking at the rsi it's getting a little toppy here but um worst case i think we come back down retest this 1910 before continuing up i was looking at this as an abc correction down to 1736 looks like it got front ran and we may continue up from here um it looks like people may be exiting uh high risk stuff like bitcoin so be careful um, let's look at the Dow, or I'm sorry, the dollar index. We had made lower or higher lows in the RSI, lower lows in the price action. I know everybody thinks the dollar is dying. I do not think it is dying yet, guys. I think it has at least one more good push. If you guys look at these two wedges, this one's almost a carbon copy. And as of today, we're popping back in the wedge. Once we break out of the top of this wedge, dollar is going to get one more massive push up. I think people will be running to the dollar. Everyone is shorting the dollar right now. There is going to be a short squeeze, in my opinion, at the least. Um, I know it doesn't look extremely bullish right here. This is the three-day, but let's go into the one hour. and Just take a look at that real quick. And as you can see, it is breaking out quite strong uh let's look at the rsi with that whoops and the rsi is looking good too guys it looks like we are probably going to get up to around the 90 right around 90 on the dollar before some resistance um let's take a look at so this is what i was talking about about being bearish and bullish as of right now we are getting rejected at the emas here we just got rejected at the eight ema on the four hour this is the four hour we were talking about opening and closes above this 32 not right around 32.9 um as long as we are closing below this i remain bearish and a four hour open and close above this 32.9 then we could possibly be going up to these ranges i do want to take a look at the longer term elliott wave here so as you guys can see, I will clean this up a little bit in a second. I'll just show you what we have here. Looking at this as a wave one in our 2017 boom down to wave two. And then this being wave three being formed. But inside that wave three, we should have five sub waves, which I believe is what we're seeing here. And we, if this is the top here, we got front ran the... 1.618 would have been around 
88 right in that range it doesn't have to be exact to the dollar but if you look over here we could see something like this as you can see we did the same thing i'm gonna get this off of here we did the same thing back here in 2017 we got rejected right before it came back down did come back up tagged it before continuing down and i'm gonna take a look at if this is the top what it looks like to me um, but let's look at the subwaves in this wave three, this being wave one, this being wave two down to here, and then three. And it, if you count the subwaves, one, two, three. And the reason I believe this is three is because we have not had a four correction. We need a four correction before going up to the top of the macro three. Um, these are the five subwaves again. And if you look at the big picture, these five waves could be wave one and wave two being following, but that's years down the road. Let's look at what's going on now. So if this is the top here, guys, I do expect, and as you guys know, we had the dump last night. Let's take a look at that real quick. That came back down, almost tagged the 0.236 fib. Um, and every time when we hit a top, we come down and we form what seems to be triangles and I'll show you what I'm thinking about that too. Now let's look at what's going on here. <clears throat> so if this is wave three, we're expecting wave four. And if you guys know, and we will look at a chart here in a few that shows you why I believe we are on 550 day cycles from top to top and 450 from bottom to bottom. And the 450 would be around June. So in June, these would be my targets. Um, the 0 0.382 fib at 22.79 and the 0.5 fib at 19.387 and then the 0 0.618 at around 15.6, between 14 and 15.6. If we drop below 14, that invalidates this count and we could go way, way, way lower. So keep in mind these numbers here. We will keep a close eye on it, but after June, I've been talking about buying back my HODL in June. As long as we're above 14, I will buy back a HODL and look to sell around the end of this year. Um, that would be wave five. That could be around, around the 40, 43 to 47, depending. We'll keep a close eye on it. Let's take a look at, well, as you can see, the MACD here is ready to flip for sure. Um, let's take a look at, but remember what we talked about over here. This is the area to watch around 32.9. So, all right, let's take a look at that triangle. Like I said, we may, let's go over to our 2017, see how a triangle's form. We actually had a smaller one um, right here. I'll put this in here real quick so you can see it. As you can see, when it dumped down, that pretty much made a, a triangle here. Um, let me get that off there, look at the bigger picture. But as you can see, when it tops, this is how usually everything tops out. This triangle was obviously a lot different in 2017. But then you can see in 2019, we did the same thing. We made a triangle, came back, came down, made a floor for the triangle, and kept getting pumps, which I do expect pumps back up towards the top as long as we don't break the high um, and they will get dumped into until finally coming down and the same thing seems to be happening here and again the fibonacci retracement from the swing low to the swing high they're over here 27.6 uh, which we did tag last night but that doesn't count i think we'll stay in this triangle and this is huge trading opportunities. If this is what it is, could you imagine back here, longing the bottom of the triangle, short in the top, long in the bottom, short in the top, long in the bottom, short in the top. Um, if we do the same thing here, there could be a lot of money being made in here. Um, again, I know a lot of people are bullish and it could continue higher. Keep an eye on that 32.9. All right, let's take a look at the cycle that I was talking about. So if we look at peak to peak, 2017 to 19, 556 days. 2019 to now, where yesterday's top, 557 days. Low to low are right around 450 days. That's why I'm looking for a next low to be in June. Again, that could be anywhere between 
any of these fibs here, but a, bur a break below 14, and that invalidates it, and we could go much lower. Be aware of that. Be careful, guys. I know a lot of people are extremely bullish. The euphoria is extreme right now. If we take all this off of here and just take a look, um, this is not a natural rise, guys. It needs to at least retrace, at least. All right, let's take a look at Prime XBT. I will leave a tutorial on how to use their leverage up there. By far my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you like all the other exchanges. Um, I did an explanation on the A book and B book exchanges. Definitely check it out. It's in a few videos back. I may even make a video going in detail about it. But um, you can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all on one exchange. You can have multiple exchanges. They have a lot of cool setups where you can switch your charts up and you don't need multiple screens. You can look at multiple charts on one screen. Just a great exchange. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, you can use my promo codes and you can use them both at the same time. There's also a link below the video, but my promo codes are savvy. 50 will get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit up to one Bitcoin as a bonus to use towards your margin. Savvy 25 will get you 25% off of your fees. All right, let's take a look at XRP. So looking at XRP here, um, as you can see, we've been looking at this as a five waves down. It could have topped, I was looking for around 28. Uh, we hit tw a little over 26 on this wave four. Uh, we could still get up to that 28, but after that, I see us retreat coming all the way back down to around four cents. Sorry, XRP army, I know this makes you guys angry. Uh, that's what happens when you're emotional. You can see that in the comments when any, anybody's emotional. Uh, they just put rude, crazy comments down below. They look like idiots uh, because most of the time they have no clue what they're talking about. So anyways, um, looking at this, we did come down in XRP and retest this rising channel that we came out of. Another thing I was talking about is a possible leading indicator. Another thing people are hate on, that nobody wants to look at anything that goes against everything going to the moon, but I'm looking at it in reality here. If you look at from the breakout of this rising channel here, it went up about 105%. Now let's see, it came down to when it hit at 17 cents. By the way, we almost hit our wave three on the dot, but... Um, Around 17 cents, that's a 78% drop. If we drop all the way down to that four cents, that's a 95% drop. Could that be a leading indicator? As you can see, every time we have a rising channel, we come back down, break through it. Whenever we have a parabolic run like this, um, could be seeing the exact same thing here, guys. Be very, very careful. Um, we had 140% rise from the break of this rising channel. If we drop 70%, that would get us down to around 10.2 and a drop to about or 86%. If we went to 95% like XRP, I think they're going to hold on a second. Excuse me, guys. All right. So if we went down to that range, could be around 1800 bucks. Um, I'm not necessarily saying that's going to happen, obviously, but be aware it's definitely a possibility believe it or not um but yeah that's what i'm looking at that could xrp could be giving us a warning guys let's look at litecoin so litecoin we did break our 143 we had a target of 150 um and another target of breaking this gets us up to well actually this rising broadening uh wedge that gets us up to around 260 and that's of course if we don't break back down this 140 let's say around 140 if we break below that then this out of the question this may be topped and if we look at june that lines up with coming back down to test this trend line around 81 dollars. that would be in june which i believe bitcoin will be hitting its low at around june um, if that was the case that would be hitting the 0.618 right around june so let's take a look at ethereum ethereum we had a target of 1077 we went about 100 bucks above that 
as of right now um, we could still get a pump as people know i know a lot of people thinking this is alt season which a lot of times after bitcoin tops alts run for a little while afterwards which is definitely a possibility um, the next line of resistance for ethereum would be right here around uh 12,025 that's where i would see the next resistance if it breaks above that we'd be going to test all time high but again we could be topped out here now if we came back down to retest this trend line right at june would be the 0.5 fib around 628 not saying it has to happen if you guys want to help support the channel check out my wife's webpage there's a link down below along with other affiliate links that help the channel out she has a lot of cool stuff on here um a lot of personalized gifts, stuff like that. Definitely check it out. If you haven't already, at least give it a look. And uh, there's also a Bitcoin section with crypto stuff. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button and leave your comment down below. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.